And this building has a wonderful history, built in 1904, so before the earthquake and fire, giant steel frame building. It was burnt throughout in the fire, but of course still held, and so they rebuilt it within. And this place is fabulous. The main ghost in here is said to be a ghost of a thin man dressed in an immaculate 30s style suit, said to be between the third and fourth floor in the stairwell. The night watchman told the San Francisco Chronicle that sometimes he sees this ghost on the stairwell between the third and fourth floor, and he hears tinkles of jazz music. That's because he's probably the most famous person to ever work in this building, and he worked for the Pinkerton Detective Agency and became a big mystery writer and learned all of his mystery writing and his hard-boiled detective background from working at Pinkerton Detective Agency in the flood building. Does anyone know the author I'm talking about? Yes, Dashiell Hammett, author of the Maltese Falcon and the Thin Man series. So you can imagine a ghost of him, except it's said to be in his younger days, wearing a fedora and disappearing with a, with a whiff of jazz music. And the quote up, up above, Dean of the Hard Boiled School of Detective Fiction. Those aren't my words, those aren't any local people, because you know in San Francisco people tend to talk up things. That's the New York Times for his obituary. And this building also has other haunted spirits that are said to be in the building because it had an interesting past. Now, San Francisco was, still a, was already a very large city in 1904. And that's a very large lot back here at the flood building to have just empty at Powell and Market, right where the cable car starts. Why would that much space be empty in downtown San Francisco? And the answer is on that spot used to be a hotel, which was one of the largest in the city, called the Baldwin Hotel. And the Baldwin Hotel was built in the 1880s six stories high, and most of the buildings in San Francisco weren't steel framed. And so if you can imagine, mostly like maximum three and four stories. So to have a wood frame hotel six stories high on that entire spot was a giant hotel. What happened to that hotel in 1898? Any guesses? Pardon? Nope. What? That, that didn't take down an entire building. What took down this building? Fire, exactly. You have a giant wooden frame building encompassed by fire, and it spread quickly. And they know about, and this happened in 1898, they, it's, they estimate that between seven and nine people died, but rumor has it as many as 20 people died in this fire. It just swept through so quickly. And you can see the shell that was remaining. By the way, these are both part of the, um, these photos are both from the library archives. And so if you're into old photographs of San Francisco, check out the San Francisco Public Library online because their photo archives are amazing. But yep, there's your before and after shots. And so late at night, the head of security is actually reported that in, that in the flood building at night, and it's a wonderful building. The lobby's open 24 hours, by the way. Definitely when you have some time walking down up and down Market Street, just duck in that lobby. It's amazing. I go in there with tours of 50 people, and it's like loud, 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 and then you walk in, and it's just silence. And that night watchman has reported to the Chronicle that late at night he can hear all of a sudden the screams of men, women, and children all crying out and then being silenced at once. So, the flood building. There's also one other um, ghostly building with the flood name on it, and that is the flood mansion. Has anyone been to that brown mansion on Knob Hill, the original flood mansion? which is now the Pacific Union Club. So what's fun about this place is it was James Flood's residence before the fire. After the earthquake and fire, it became the Pacific Union Club. To this day, it's reported that there is a secret tunnel under California Street that goes from this building 
to where the Huntington Hotel is and the Big Four restaurant. And there's been all sorts of rumors over the years. Was it, was it a, a tunnel to take away bodies that had died in the mansion? Was it a tunnel, was it a mistress tunnel? So before the wife came home, you could, it's like, oh, honey, you have to go now. No, no, not through the front door, through the tunnel <laughs> across the street. Or, as many people think it may be, just innocently a servant's tunnel. If you have, a, if you have a, two different dinner parties going, one in this mansion and one in the mansion across the street, it was much easier to stagger your dinner service and share people serving your meal. So you could even share prep cooks, you could share servers, just have the meal staggered about an hour apart and you're good to go.